96 which of the following statements is incorrect about archaebacteria archaebacteria cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan no that's why archaebacteria differ from other bacteria why because archaebacteria don't have peptidoglycan in their cell wall they have pseudomurin so this is wrong second cell membrane contains branched chain lipids yes that's why they can survive in harsh conditions also it is correct they have 70s ribosomes yes they live in some of the most harsh conditions yes so the correct option for the given question is option number one let's move to the next question question number 97 due to absence of cell wall mycoplasma are insensitive to in the options many antibiotics are given streptomycin erythromycin penicillin and chloramphenicol these are antibiotics out of which streptomycin erythromycin and chloramphenicol they are metabolic inhibitors means they inhibit the metabolism of the bacteria or the organisms but what about the penicillin penicillin acts on the cell wall so it is not the metabolic inhibitor as mycoplasma lack cell wall there is no action of penicillin in the mycoplasma so due to absence of cell wall mycoplasma are insensitive to penicillin because penicillin becomes ineffective due to absence of cell wall so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's pick up the next question question number 98 match the following columns and choose the correct option in column one there are diatoms dinoflagellates slime molds and sporozoa and in column two the features are given so match one by one diatoms they lack flagella except in the reproductive stage you must have studied in your classes also that the diatoms they are photosynthetic they lack flagella but in the reproductive stage they can have flagella so a matches with fourth option number one and two are ruled out now it has become easier to catch the answer dinoflagellates means di means two flagella means flagella they have two flagella that two heterocont so dinoflagellates bear heterocont flagella means both the flagella are different from each other hence they are heterocont so b matches with three now there is still fight between option number three and four slime molds they are connecting link with the plants animals and fungi why because slime molds have cellulosic cell wall in the spores which is a feature of plants they lack cell wall in the vegetative phase which is a feature of animals and they form fruiting bodies which is a feature of fungi so c matches with second option number four is also ruled out so d goes with first sporozoans are all endoparasites so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question question number 99 choose the feature which is not present in eugalina eugalina it's a protist it is unicellular eukaryotic it has mixotrophic mode of nutrition yes what is mixotrophic mode of nutrition it can be photosynthetic as well as saprophytic when there is sunlight it is photosynthetic when it is deprived of sunlight it can behave as saprophytic so it shows a mixotrophic mode of nutrition reserve food material is paramylon it is also true presence of chlorophyll a and b yes euglena resemble to higher plants because it has chlorophyll a and b now cellulosic cell wall the second option no because cell wall is not present in eugalina the outermost covering in eugalina is pellicle not the cell wall so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's move to the next question question number 100 cell wall is impregnated with silica in cellular slime molds as we discussed cellular slime molds lack cell wall in their vegetative phase and spores have cellulosic cell walls methanogens no dinoflagellates they have cellulose so this option is also ruled out 
diatoms have cell wall impregnated with silica hence we called it siliceous cell wall the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's pick up the next question 